Now, before we start this video, we should clarify that this won't prevent you from getting hacked. It will just be extremely painful and difficult to do so. To that the guy who's hacking you, he'll probably give up and go to another account. Okay? Got it? Okay. So first, we need to fix up your behavior. Um, you see, according to um, no beef or blog, <laughs> just fucking love this. They estimate that about 88% of data breaches are by employee mistake. And if you go down, you see um, IBM apparently saying it's 90%. And then you scroll down, you see 88% again, 82%, 95%. And in fact, here's the hoverboard over here saying that it's 80%. So again, if you get hacked, it was likely you that accidentally did something like clicking a random link or something like that. You wanna not click on random links, you don't wanna like download random garbage, you don't wanna like believe everything you see on the internet because well, you will get hacked if you click on everything. Remember, the best antivirus is your brain, okay? The best antivirus is your brain. In fact, I don't even have an antivirus. I just have a brain. Now that we have gone over that, we need to make it absolute hell to password guess your account. So go to settings. You wanna go to password, um, I'm gonna enter my super secret pin, which I will go after in a second. Um, you wanna put your own password here and make an absolute hell. In fact, you guys don't see this right now, so I'm just gonna bring up a notepad and make it go bigger. So what you wanna do is, you wanna do a random assessment of characters, doesn't matter what it is, just make sure it's a random assessment of characters. You wanna add in some symbol oh you wanna add in some symbols and we should be good and we wanna also add capitalized letters everywhere. It doesn't have to be exactly this, but you wanna like make it absolute hell. And then we are going to add some numbers, like I added one there by accident. And boom! That's a unhackable password, but don't use this password because everyone knows about this password now. That's kind of your guide on how to actually make your passwords, and just so you don't forget this password, you have two options. You write this down on a piece of paper, or use a super gamer method and use Bitwarden, which is basically just a password manager which you usually use, by the way. Um, it's an open source the password manager and it's free, okay? You wanna like put this password there, or maybe just if you don't trust Bitwarden, you can just write it on the paper. And make sure you write it like twice in a row, so that in case you have any errors in that password, well I guess you have a second password to try out. And that basically just makes it so that you cannot get hacked. I, I mean, you, you can still get hacked, but like, the cow password gets your account, okay? Never gonna happen. Now we got the password, you wanna add in your email, you wanna add in your phone number, you wanna just make sure that you have a lot of ways to get into your account back to prove to support that you, you are really who you are if you, in case you get hacked. Next up, security. Now there's a few things over here, you should probably use an authenticator app here, okay? You should use an authenticator app. If you, you have like an app on your phone and if you turn it on, well, you will have like a bunch of codes on your phone and basically you will just... Every time you have to log in, you have like, you have access to your phone at all times so that you can log in. I don't know if that makes sense. But like, you have to like get like a six digit code, otherwise it won't get you in and it's like a 30 second timer. Where you were logged in. Now since you changed your password, you will not have any of this. Like, I didn't change my password, because I already have a super secret password. <laughs> um, you wanna log in any- anything that seems off over here. Alright, great. Now time to go to privacy. Now when are we going to privacy? Because we're going to privacy, we can- we have to change the settings over here to no one. You wanna know why? Because there's a lot of scams and messages. Especially like you see accounts over and over and over and over again, just all scams and it's just like a 
easy vulnerability. So, we got all done. Time to go to parental controls, set a parental pen. Now, again, this is the same thing as here. Essentially, you have like a four digit code that you, that you can remember. And if the, if a person is hacked to you, and only you know this code, if a person hacks you, they won't be able to change settings like change your password and stuff like that. It's just like a good way to contain any type of hacking that ha may happen. Again, this won't ensure 100% that you won't get hacked, but like, yeah, it's gonna be hell for anyone that will. Alright, well, that's basically everything. Goodbye.